Hello, welcome back to the session. I hope that you all are doing well. So in the previous session, we discussed about how subject, object, and verb, these three terms are important for studying active and passive voice. Then we learned about the difference between, the major difference between the two terms. Then we studied about the structure of the sentences present in active and passive voice, majorly in simple present tense. And then we learned about what are the basic rules to understand active and passive voice, right? So in today's class, we will be studying about how to change the pronouns while we are changing the sentences from active voice to the passive voice. First, the changing of the pronouns. And the second thing we are going to study is structure of sentences in passive voice and active voice in present continuous tense. Okay, so we will be studying about the change of the pronouns and the structure of the sentences in active and passive voice in present continuous tense. Okay, so before starting with the session, let's uh, discuss about the three rules of active and passive voice. The first rule was the interchange between the subject and the object. First rule. Second rule was the change in verb. And the third rule was the addition of by in passive voice. Okay, so let's start with changing the pronouns. Okay, so while you are changing your active voice in passive voice, you have to keep this in mind that you also have to change the particular pronoun which is there in the active voice. Right, and for that, changing the pronouns, we, there we have this table. Can you see this table? Here we can see that if in active voice, if we will get me in the sentence, then we are going to change it as I in the passive voice. Right, let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's consider the active voice to be he hit me with his car. Okay, so here we have me, me is the object over here. Okay, now I want to change this active voice into the passive voice. Okay, so you have to go back to the table. You have to check what is there in front of me, it is I. Okay, so now you have to change this me into I when you are changing it into the passive voice. So it will be changed as I was hit by his car. Okay, again, you have to change me with I and for that you have to memorize this table, right? Similarly, you will be changing her in the active voice as she in the passive voice and vice versa. If you will be getting she in the active voice, it will be changed as her in the passive voice, right? You, there will be no change in you. It will, be, it will remain same in the passive voice as well. Then coming on to him, if him is there in the active voice, it will be changed into he. And if he is there in the active voice, it will be changed into him in the passive voice. There will be no change in the pronoun it. Then us, if you will be getting us in the active voice, it will be changed as we in the passive voice and vice versa. And same goes for them. If you will be getting them in the active voice, it will be changed into they. And if you will be getting they in the active voice, you will be getting there. Okay, so all you need to do is you have to memorize this table. Okay, let's come on understanding the structure of sentences in present continuous tense in both the voices, in active voice also and in the passive voice also. Okay, let's first take the structure of sentence in active voice. So in active voice, you have a subject, right? Along with subject, you have is, am, are. Okay, along with is am are, there is verb first form plus ing and there is an object, right? So you have a subject is am are plus verb first form ing and the object. Now we have to change this active voice into passive voice. Okay, so what is the first rule of changing? You have to inter interchange the subject and object. Okay, so interchange between the subject and object rule number one. Rule number two is you have to change the verb. Okay, now in present continuous tense, you will not be eliminating is, am, are as we did it in the simple present tense. Okay, you won't be eliminating this. Otherwise, all you have to do is you have to add being, B-E-I-N-G, being, plus the third form of verb which has been used in the active voice. 
and the rule number 3 is you have to add by that's it and you are done with the structure okay so all you have to do is you have to interchange then you have to add being plus third form of verb plus by okay and same will be there for the negative sentences the sentences which have not right so again all you have to do is you have to put uh, you have to add not then you have to add being b e i n g being and then you have to change the first form of verb into the third form of verb right okay let's hop on to the questions okay so the first question is isha is singing a song okay can you see the structure there is a subject there is is am are we have a is then we have verb first form which is sing then we have ing then we have the object okay so first rule number 1 is interchange between the subject and the object okay so what is the object the object is a song right so a song will be the new subject then you have to put is am are according to the subject so subject is song which is a singular subject so we will be putting is right after is we have to add being b e i n g so we have added being then we have to then we have to change the first form of verb into third form of verb okay so what is the first form of verb the first form of verb is sing okay so the third form will be sung sing sang sung okay so a song is being sung you have to add by isha right so all i have done in this particular sentence is i have added being and i have added the third form of verb okay let's come on to the interrogative sentence as i told you in the previous session that in the uh, while we are changing the active voice into passive voice we are not supposed to change the type of the sentence right if this is a interrogative sentence then we are supposed to write it in the interrogative passive voice only right so again looking at it okay so what is going to be the new subject the new subject will be a table right so a table according to a table we will be putting is am are so again is will be there is a table then you have to add being b e i n g being then you have to change the first form of verb into third form of verb so by bought bought by is the verb in this active voice so we have changed it into the third form of verb by the uh, bot and then we are, we have added by and then rithik question mark so is a table being bought by rithik okay so all you have to understand in present continuous tense is that you have to add being and you have to change the first form of verb into third form of verb okay so i have a question for you so she is disturbing dinesh okay so you tell you can tell me about its answer in the comment section till then do practice active as active and passive voice and we're going to meet in the next session thank you so much